Thank you, Gorana. Um, uh, I'm Nebuša Ratković, Education Program Manager at Wikimedia Serbia, and I'm here today to share with you some um, insights about uh, Wikipedia's translator. Um, I was thinking this session to be uh, interactive, so I invite you to uh, share your ideas, your experiences, and anything you want to say about this topic. So, um, I will present very briefly um, all the possibilities and some examples of how we use Wikipedia Translator here in Serbia. Uh, after that, I would like to reflect and discuss things with you and to hear your experiences. And at the end, um, I prepared here um, some paper. Maybe you should um, um, work in, a group, in smaller groups and answer some questions. Uh, my idea uh, was to um, public some uh, guidelines for others who want to use Wikipedia Translator uh, in their work to have some main points and uh, um, th th that they can use in their work. Uh, but first, because we just came back from the lunch, we are going to have um, a game. Uh, so we all need to stand up and uh, I'll show you some questions and you have to um, choose if you are going left on, or right in this room, uh, depending on the answer you, you want to give. So please stand up. Uh, so, a first statement is, I'm a morning person and I love getting things done during the early hours of the day. Yes or no, depending on your answer. No, you 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 can you have to yeah yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> So great to see so many morning persons. So, uh, next statement is I like cats more than dogs. Yes or no? I like more dogs. Or no? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can stand anywhere you want. Okay, dogs, dogs and morning persons. Uh, I like winter better than summer. Difficult question. Okay, winter is there. Yeah. In Armenia yeah. or in Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, Serbian here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great point. Uh, Serbia has the largest coastline in the Balkans. Yes or no? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? No? No? We don't know. No? There is no Do you know if Serbia has the largest coastline in the Balkans? No. No, no. yeah, because Serbia doesn't have a coastline. <laughs> uh, I have been using Wikipedia's translator in my work. Yes or no? Sometimes. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I really want to hear all your experiences. And the last question, this is going to be the best conference ever. Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to compare, oh, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You can go to your seats. Okay, you can go to your seats now and I'll continue my presentation. Thank you very much.
So, um, I would like uh, to talk to you a little bit about our uh, context in Serbia, where we use Wikipedia Translator. Um, I have uh, seven years experience working with schools and faculties, and uh, at some point I noticed that a lot of students use Wikipedia Translator. We tried to ban that and just we told them not to use because they don't check their uh, articles and we got a really, really, really bad um, uh, articles on, on Wikipedia. And uh, after that, um, we decided not to uh, forbidden uh, that, but to teach them how to use it. Maybe uh, like a better option for them because they use it anyway. So. Um, here are some examples. We started to use uh, Wikipedia Translator uh, in high schools where teachers of foreign languages used Wikipedia as a translating exercise instead of some other activities. It really motivates students a lot because um, they have their work published for the first time. That's something all people can see and they can share with others. Uh, since we do that with um, teachers of foreign languages, they always check those articles uh, and uh, they give some feedback on what they have to correct, if there is something to, uh, to correct. So, um, then uh, we uh, made some good cooperations with faculties. We have two examples of that. Uh, one is Faculty of Organizational Sciences, uh, which is really close to this place. and. Um, we used uh, Wikipedia Translator there as a tool for translating, uh, for exercise uh, of trans, uh, translation. And um, it's a really good example because they do that with their uh, professors. Uh, and uh, they uh, have a lot of meetings where they discuss uh, what they uh, translated. And uh, they also use Microsoft for, for, uh, Word, if I'm not wrong, um, uh, to uh, make those first versions of their text. After that, they publish on Wikipedia because they have uh, like many, many meetings and many discussions on uh, their work. Uh, and the, the second example is Faculty of Philology. Uh, we do have a cooperation there with Masters of um, Translation. And uh, what they do is to use Wikipedia uh, Translator in a way they uh, only click on the translation, which is usually uh, wrong. There are a lot of mistakes there. They publish that in their sandboxes and then they uh, compare that machine translator with uh, like real person translator. So they do like uh, their translation twice. They compare that and they uh, after that publish their articles with all the corrections. So um, we get really good insights um, on Wikipedia translator in that uh, example. And we also published our insights during the conference translation and multilingual practice in the world's largest online encyclopedia. It was online conference uh, organized uh, by Center of Translation in Hong Kong. And uh, you can read our paper uh, in a few months because we are going to publish all those results. Uh, so I would also like to use this conference just to um, get some more um, experiences and all the things you struggle on uh, using Wikipedia Translator just to have in mind and uh, also when, uh, when um, uh, I publish uh, that, those guidelines. Uh, but before that and before our um, uh, interactive part, I would also like to ask uh, Maria. Maria is uh, one of the organizers of um, that workshop. Yeah. Uh, of that workshop at, uh, workshop at the Faculty of Organizational Sciences a, and maybe she can also uh, share her experience with this project. Thank you. Thank you, Nevesha. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope that you're enjoying your stay here in Serbia. 
Um, as Nagwesha said, my name is Maria and I'm a supporting assistant at the Faculty of Organizational Sciences, but I've just recently started teaching there and using Wikipedia as a tool um, actually to incorporate it into our curriculum. Um, so the way we use Wikipedia is at the second year of studies, we collaborate with second year students um, in order to integrate this translation as a skill for learning because as you know, um, it has been um, it has been the, let's say, the, the subject of uh, many diverse opinions, whether to use it or not, but we wanted to incorporate this to prove that it can be a useful skill to actually acquire some new skills. So we had the chance to um, work with Neboisha, and so our students had to go through a series of phases to translate articles from English into Serbian, and that was organized in the following way. So first of all, they had some technical, um, some technical workshop, let's say, then this was followed by some translation workshops as well, and then this was again followed by some discussions with them, consultations, they had two so far, so we offered our help um, in this project. It was like mentorship and so this was how they submitted their first draft after which they also had consultations and we offered feedback um, based on the list of criteria that we had. So this was again the final outcome was actually to produce this final version which would then be published um, in, on Wikipedia. Um, so what this experience has showed us is that it can be a useful tool in strengthening student skills um, to analyze text critically, to also develop their awareness of language and how language is used and to develop some, um, let's say, some skills, comparative skills that they can analyze Serbian and English and to actually deduce how language is used differently in these different contexts. So, to conclude, um, yep, this has been a very useful experience for us and our students and we hope to use it, to continue using it actually in the course of our work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Um, yeah, and we uh, always get very good outcomes uh, from their students and uh, uh, we started that, that project a few years ago actually, yeah, and uh, we are doing it uh, every year. Uh, so, um, I don't want to take more time, I, I just want to, to hear uh, your experiences with uh, Wikipedia Translator, if you would like to share them with others. Uh, hello everyone, I am Jaxir from uh, India, Punjabi Wikimedia user group. Uh, so the thing is that I started working on Wikipedia in, uh, from, uh, in two, uh, uh, 2017. So I was uh, mostly, as we all do, we translate uh, in, uh, article from English to our uh, local language. So in 2019, what I did that uh, I uh, emailed to a local uh, NGO that I am, uh, I know the translation and I can translate your uh, stuff to uh, Punjabi language. So I started volunteering uh, with them. Uh, I was uh, translating their social media posts and their uh, <coughs> newsletters and all the things. So after uh, one month, they said that we uh, need a trans full time translator. So we like your work and we would like to offer you a job. So because of Wikipedia, that I started translating because of Wikipedia, I got a job and now I'm working with them full time. So, and, uh, and it, why it is important for me because the, my last job was in, uh, in the office of an advocate. So I barely get a uh, day off because of the workload. But here, I, I, I just have to send them a message that I am unavailable from this day to this day. And they said, hey, we are okay with that. So I thank Wikipedia and especially these kind of uh, skills that we acquire from Wikipedia. So we get uh, uh, kind of skills to uh, uh, grow professionally. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, anyone else? Yep. Well, sorry for my English is not very good. This is the best I can say in English, right? <laughs> no, no, that, that, that sentence. <laughs> um, we are from Spain and we work with uh, Alcalá de Henares University. Uh, in Traducción de Alemán, it's... Uh, yes, translating from German. Um, they work in groups, they are in university, second year, right? And they work in groups translating from German to Spanish. And it's uh, very good when they um, discuss about the, um, 
um, I don't know the word in English. I'm sorry. Um, sesgo, the, los sesgos. Yeah, yeah. Bi bias, the bias, because in Ger also in German Wikipedia they have some um, problems in describing things, <laughs> as everybody. And when they translate into Spanish, um, they said, no, it, this is not good. So it's very interesting to see the, the students discussing about the, the bias they find in the articles. And then when they finish, they are groups of four uh, people, um, they prepare a video explaining in Spanish the work they've done with that article. So, uh, for example, the first year they, they work on women's creators, and the second year work on um, climate change, and now they are going to work on um, cinema, um, t um, movies about the Second w War. war, war. So, um, but the videos are very interesting because, the, for example, for the International Women's Day, they, they show the videos and they, well, I'm sorry, my English is not good, I'm, I'm very tired. So that's it. I, I don't, I, <laughs> no creo, pero bueno. So that's a, it's a very nice experience to work in groups. That's the most important thing. And uh, those videos are available for uh, us to, to see them? Or uh, those videos are available to, to um, see? Can we show? OK, great, great. Great, thank you, Clara. Yeah, I have just um, I have just tried translator recently, like maybe three times, because I was very like, what? I have to do it by myself every sentence. But uh, we have uh, I'm the oldest one like in Wikipedia <laughs> time in our team, and I noticed noticed that um, new people in our uh, staff are uh, using only translator and they convinced me when we had a very uh, hard editathon with uh, like three days all the time with humanitarian action in Poland, hard topics, um, not so much time and I tried to use it and it was very useful just even to have a structure of the uh, article um, and I could easily uh, manage with um, making corrections in sentences and so on. But it was me because I like this stuff and I feel the vibe of the sentence and so on. But uh, uh, our community is rather against using this. All the time we have on our coffee, how to say, kawiarenka in Polish, this, this place when Wikipedians yeah. are discussed. Oh, village pump, you have coffee, <laughs> coffee. Uh, so they are, very often there are uh, statements that shut it down, not, not even more. Uh, we can't uh, all the time we cor make corrections on this translations version. So it's very hard even to confess that you use this. Uh, no, because students like translating and not checking. Uh, and the language, not even the, the sources are okay and everything, but the language, you can see the, comparing Polish to English, <laughs> that it was translated from English or German. So uh, the most opposition is in the community. So it's, uh, I don't know yet how to deal with this. Because it's very easy, it's a great tool for students and new, newbies, but community is very angry because we have to, there are not so many people with uh, the skills to accept the changes, yes. I just want to continue this discussion. In uh, big languages like English, Russian, or I don't know, Chinese, maybe it's work well, that translator, but in small language, for, for example, Georgian, it's not works well. Uh, because uh, there is some grammatic differences between the language. For example, you need to 
uh, when you are translating from English, you need to start translating uh, at the end of the sentence because the uh, style is very different. And uh, there are in Wikipedia many contests like C Spring, and many participants using this tool. And uh, to prevent, like, without any difference, like without any fixing, to put this article in the Wikipedia, uh, we also uh, have a rule: uh, just not put the, uh, this translation directly to the Wikipedia. Just you need to check and then put this article on Wikipedia. That prevents some kind of like. Uh, timing for us, like spending time on corrections that translated articles. So the, the problem is that in small language, it's not work well, but it's still useful for some kind, like Google Translate. Yeah. Uh, actually, it is using Google Translate, yeah. And that's actually, yeah, Yandex and Google, yeah. Yeah, the same, the same here in North Macedonia. We work with um, uh, high school, uh, students and uh, students in university and even uh, adults and the best tool is the, this uh, translator but uh, you have to tell them to check the translation as this is google translate of course <laughs> and it, uh, you said about the the uh, georgian language but i think that uh, I, I i heard from before that uh, uh, slavic language is uh, is a problematic for machine translator so, yeah Except maybe, I don't know about Russia, I don't speak Russia, so. Yes, yes, yes. And one thing, we all, all the time, uh, we are, uh, um, when we train the students to, to how to edit Wikipedia, how to translate, with the translator, we tell them to, to check the text. Uh, this is, uh, the, the Google is giving them something, but uh, sometimes the whole sentence is okay, but many, many times it's not okay. And many times, as we speak with Devosha, it happened in Serbia and also. Um, you are, the, the article is about the woman and there is a... Yeah. yeah. And he, 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 I mean, it's not he. It's, yeah. So the student who leave the article as this uh, has uh, zero points. Because if, uh, if uh, they read it before, they will know that there is a something they have to correct it's a it's a yeah mistakes a very big mistakes and the translator is good because uh, there is a structure of the article you can uh, you can have with the with the titles and everything so the references are there all that yes yes everything info boxes uh, most most of them May, yes a lot of time categories and uh, internal Yes, 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 everything, everything. Uh, I recommend it uh, sometimes to students, uh, translate to, on two uh, language, on Armenian, yes, it's not right, uh, into Russian and uh, Czech be between, because you can find, yes, yes, uh, our, our students now, uh, Russian, uh, you can translate to another third language, it's uh, easy, and uh, write in uh, uh, draft, and the letter after check is bring. Okay. Um, I'm Do from Turkish Wikipedia. Uh, all the first, we have a, a, a you know speed deletion criteria on Turkish Wikipedia called uh, unqualified unqual unqualified machine translation. So, if someone makes some translation and republish it on Turkish Wikipedia, probably our uh, experienced users are uh, taken as a, you know, speedy deletion. It's because uh, on Turkish Wikipedia, we are not, uh, you know, uh, welcoming to tra uh, machine translation. But uh, sometimes people using uh, machine translation, ex especially the translator gadget on the Wikipedia, they're using it, but they, ho they have no idea how they how they need to use it because they just want to contribute actually their just aim is this but uh, when they release the you know article uh, they don't have some uh, template translation for example references in turkish we call it as a kaynakça but uh, when the when they release they are using referenslar it's so it's a big problem for us but i think uh, the gadget is really uh, good for the new, newcomers, you know, so people just uh, 
grabbing something to the Wikipedia, and then they, they just realize, oh, actually, I can translate something. So uh, what I need, I can use that uh, you know gadget for translation, and they, it makes the, the, that people excited. Yeah, actually, I am supporting this, but in the other hand, uh, I think most Wikipedias are not supporting the machine translation on their Wikipedias. That's my experience. I never used the uh, tr translator gadget on Turkish Wikipedia because I don't need because I am an experienced user, so that I can translate and I can just write the template names, blah blah. But I think uh, the translator gadget needs some improves for the new buyers because they don't have the uh, template names. We have a problem with template names. How we can yes, exactly, exactly, yeah. <clears throat> no, temp template name is okay, but the uh, parameters are not working properly. Yes, yes, totally. Thank you very much. Okay, um, so when we, when we talk about translation, um, I'm not really into translation, but like I could also share from people's experience, especially working with local languages in Nigeria. So it's has always been, there's always this concern for using the translation tool, which only translates the word, but doesn't give like intonation because when we, when you translate to local language in Yoruba, you also need to like put uh, what they call intonation, that uh, the accuracy of the pitch of how you pronounce the word. So most times when using the translation tool, it doesn't give you that um, intonation. It doesn't allow you to do the intonation if you are not uh, someone that is very experienced in writing in local languages. So it's, it's always advisable that they don't make use of Google Translator. That's for local languages in Nigeria. So I, I was also looking at this calls for consent because sometimes you get people who want to just do the translation, but they are not ready to add the intonation. So that's a problem because at the end they translate and it doesn't make sense, right? So that's just uh, some of the experience I would like to share and see if there is like a solution we could all um, arrive at, right? Thank you. I just wanted to catch up on what was said about the context and how it sometimes doesn't make any sense when the students translate. Um, so what we say to our students is when they read the translated text, it should read as the original. So they don't have this um, feeling that it is translated actually. And what we do to avoid these mistakes when it comes to the context is we, we actually encourage students to look at the context first and then to select the, the correct word based on what they have. And also we equip them with the resources they can use. For example, we provide bilingual dictionaries, um, even monolingual dictionaries. Um, so they use them in order to come up with as many solutions as they can and then select the solution based on the context that they have. So that's how we can consider the context and avoid the, the issues. Thank you. Um, Puedo hablar en español y me ayudas a traducir porque me pone muy nerviosa. Um, en español hemos descubierto que hay una sobre representación de actores y actrices de Estados Unidos en muchos idiomas. Uh, we, uh, we just uh, noticed that there are many articles about uh, act, uh, actors from United States uh, on other languages, right? And that's why, because it's very easy to translate from English into all other languages. So we have uh, singers or act actors and actresses uh, from USA in all our languages. And that, that's, no es representativo, no? Hay actrices con 150 idiomas y hay presidentes con cinco. And they are not equally represented because you have some singers or actors with a, a hundred uh, uh, like language versions and you have some presidents with five <laughs> language options. So it's important to, to, it's important to guide the students in which kind of articles they are going to translate. Yeah, very good point. What we did in Serbia uh, with uh, one institution, uh, 
they uh, uh, they uh, get 25 points of 100 for their Wikipedia contribution. And uh, we told them, th this was the first year we told them, if you use Wikipedia Translator and you do not check your article, you're going to get zero points. So if you think it's, it, it's worth it, then do it. <laughs> but if you don't think, better check those articles. And uh, I got uh, it's 250 articles from that institution. I started to check on them, and they are much, much better than they were before. So that's one thing. About the templates, I also have to agree, because uh, we have a huge problems with that. And um, uh, it simply that doesn't work in Serbian, definitely, yeah. And um, mm, uh, about the, the languages, I also noticed that because uh, sometimes I translate from Spanish and sometimes I use uh, Wikipedia's translator because uh, uh, sometimes it's easier for me. Uh, it's much better translation than from English to Serbian. From Spanish to Serbian is much better. Yeah, maybe because of, I don't know, context or sentences or... I'm not a tech person, but I was wondering, uh, because, for example, in Poland we have better translation tool than Google uh, Translator, uh, DeepPL. So, is it possible to switch this <laughs> or integrate? It, it, it someone could do this, maybe it would be better and uh, won't be so many issues with style and uh, uh, syntax, yes, and everything with sentences. I don't know how to do it. But it's a multilingual. Uh, and um, we also uh, did uh, um, uh, that uh, they, when they publish their articles, they should do that in Sandbox. Because from Wikipedia Translator, you can publish in Sandbox. You don't have to uh, publish. Um, so uh, this is, is it possible? Yes, like, because I have this gadget, I switch it on. And then uh, there is no possibility to go to the sandbox. I have to copy this. Yeah, I can. Oh, you can show us. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, there, there is an option to. I can show you. Um, okay, uh, anyone else? Okay, you want to say something? No. Okay, so uh, uh, I would like uh, just to. to um, yeah, maybe we are not going to work in a group, so we are going to. Uh, report together. Uh, I just wanted to um, make some list of uh, some possible stakeholders or institutions or um, anyone you think can use Wikipedia Translator in their work. Uh, are those only uh, schools and faculties or you have something else on your mind? Thanks, but uh, so schools, faculties, and every other adult, seniors, everyone. everyone. And uh, what about um, okay? Um, sorry for that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Uh, and how it happened. Uh, what about the um, language schools or something like that? Okay. That, uh, yeah, I noted this. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic. I know. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe I should walk. I know that <laughs> this solution, like language teachers, it's a good uh, target group, but maybe with this solution from Florencia, that after that uh, we discuss what we have done and the differences, because when like students in language schools just like use it and, okay, bye. Comparing with the machine, yeah. translated, it, it was not me. In my case, was the, the videos. Ah, the videos, yes. Yeah. But uh, it was, uh, the, the videos, uh, was I thinking of, that they analyze uh, what they have done and, uh, and making more awareness of the steps and maybe uh, how my process of translation went and what the machine learning did, you know, that, uh, to take something more, just uh, switch on the translator. Okay. Um, I was also thinking... Um, okay, we are not going to use that mic anymore. Um, <laughs> um, I was also thinking about because um, uh, um, I was learning Spanish in uh, Instituto Cervantes, and I was also thinking about maybe institutes of foreign languages we can offer Wikipedia translator. It's also an option, and um, I. We have cooperation with uh, one big university in Poznań, in Poland, and uh, last year, like four or three departments of foreign languages were trying this tool, and with students, like uh, so they were discussing, I suppose then, uh, but uh, the goal was to to translate like from the from the French uh, Wikipedia to into Poland Polish. And they use this translator. So universities are also on the list. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, but uh, when I say uh, faculties and schools, I refer to those who are uh, who are not like uh, la language teachers, like Maria, for example. So, uh, like a uh, math teacher who wants to work on Wikipedia. They are also, I think, our target group. Um, and uh, I also had an idea. I don't know if, if anyone uh, of you um, would like to maybe do something uh, like that um, to organize like international uh, editathon on some topic. For example, uh, students in Serbia can write uh, articles about Spain we don't have on Serbian Wikipedia and your students will write articles about the Serbian topics in Spain and we can do that maybe the same day uh, and we can do that on I don't know maybe state who day of Spain or Serbia or relate that to some important date for example it's a great idea in Spain last year um, we, we have uh, five or seven languages in Spain, right? And and we prepare an editathon for uh, translating into all the languages um, um, the articles about the International Day of something. So, um, because uh, w w uh, it was very difficult to decide which type of articles we were going to translate because of political tensions. So we said, well, International Days is not political for us, so it's okay to translate that. And that was a good idea. And also last year, uh, a group of students of um, Spanish, Deutsch, Deutsch, Spanish, um, German, sorry. Um, we, uh, we went all together to the book fair in Frankfurt, because Spain was the the country invited last year to the book fair, so it was a very good experience for the students and also for Wikimedia Deutschland. They were very happy to have us there. So I think, looking for example, um, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
If you want to say something, I can translate. Okay. Uh, so, do you have uh, any more ideas of how we can use Wikipedia Translate uh, uh, among us, uh, among Wikimedia movement, or because I just uh, shared that my idea with you, but maybe you also have some ideas. I mean, we can do that with uh, every language. So, I just mentioned Spanish, uh, but it could be done like among three or four different languages, right? Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. But, um, yeah, mm -hmm, sorry. Yeah, I mean, as a community, they can, they can manage them, you know, Rick Marathon between them, so that, uh, you know, uh, they can put a rule, that you have to rule, you have, uh, I mean, as a rule, you can say use the translator for this Rick Maradon because it's, it's yeah I mean no someone maybe someone support it maybe someone not uh, it doesn't matter if you want if you want to do something with that uh, translator gadget it's okay I mean in this way you can use it uh, with the others that's it I'm sorry, I'm again. <laughs> I'm so excited about it because this is something new for me, so I'm excited. Uh, so, actually, in the Boisha, we are planning our, I think, fifth conference. Uh, like, we have like one day educational conferences in Poland, wiki conferences, but not only for Wikipedians, but also for people outside uh, to, in, to involve them. And uh, last year was about libraries, and uh, this year um, I chose, I, I just got acceptance of subjects from my board, so it will be about translations <laughs> and about uh, foreign languages, and also there will be a whole uh, part of the program about Wikipedia that I have to prepare with someone. So if you have some, uh, I was just thinking about your presentation that you will publish. So. There will be, we can make some marathon or some editathon in Warsaw, in Poland, or anywhere. So maybe I will, will be in touch with you. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, and um, um, I forgot what I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, it's uh, maybe about what uh, you, Clara, said. Uh, maybe that's the right way just to popularize a little bit Wikipedia's translator and just to show communities it can be used in the right way and that we are not going to publish articles that are not like really, really good translated. And just to show them goodwill to use it, but in the right way, just as an idea. Very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Wiki loves translation. <laughs> um, and uh, that uh, I can hear it when uh, there is opposition <laughs> inside the community that uh, we don't know this stupid translator tool. You have to think by yourself. This is something in this that we have to change the mind that this is not wrong to use ChatGPT to project, to design workshop and to use translator tool to have a structure of article in Wikipedia. So I think we have to talk within our communities about this uh, before big marathon. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, so um, uh, next session uh, starts in a few minutes and in other rooms as well. So uh, I would like to finish this um, presentation or workshop uh, with these ideas. And maybe if you are interested in like more this discussing things uh, like this, maybe we can make a list and uh, have a, um, some email thread or something. Yeah, so uh, maybe uh, if you have a piece of paper, someone, or, um, yeah, great. Iamo, uh, Iamo. And um, you can write down your email, 
uh, and um, your first name, and uh, maybe I can connect all of us and discuss. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you only have to use uh, translator to communicate with <laughs> the other languages. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your experiences. Um, and um, yeah, um, thank you very much. Uh, it was really interactive and um, um, I really liked all your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you.